Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with a <laughs> unboxing. Yes. So this unboxing, if you can't already tell, comes to us from the folks over at DIY Moon Shop. So DIY Moon Shop con got in contact with me and asked me if I would be willing to show one of their new artists. And of course I said yes. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. I have to grab the keychain of doom because as you guys know, they package things very well. Now it did come a little crushed, so I'm hoping it doesn't affect the painting too much. But you guys know DIY Moonshop uses poor glue and usually a little crunching just means that you got to lay it flat somewhere for a day or so under something heavy and it will take care of any wrinkles or anything that are in the kit. So we're going to try to get into this. Let's see, can we get through all this plastic? And apparently this sticker. Maybe. And while I'm doing this, I can let you know about the sale that DIY Moon Shop is currently running. If you're watching this uh, before February 3rd, 2022, uh, there is a sale going on where all of their POC, which POC stands for person of color, um, all their POC kits are 15% off. So if you have never uh, bar, uh, if you've never purchased a DIY moon shop, um, and you would like to participate, say in the POC along, or if you would just like to grab a kit that is POC, uh, go over and check out DIY moon shop for that 15% off. Cause again, in all of my time on YouTube, I've never seen DIY Moon Shop run a sale before. And so they are going to help us with the POC along that I am running this or coming up on the February 1st. Um, so if you haven't heard, yes, there is a POC along coming on February 1st. Um, all you have to do to participate is work on a POC kit, which means not any kit, not of European descent. So it can be something Puerto Rican, it can be something Japanese, Chinese, um, African American. As long as it's not of European descent, you can work on it for the month of February. And you will be participating in the POC along. Just tag, um, use the hashtag POC for Black History. And it will enter you in to win. Any entry that you do with that hashtag will enter you in to win a prize. Um, there will be a prize, of course, for every craft because it's not just for diamond painting. So thought I would let you know about that. But let's get into this. Enough jibba jabba. We got this pretty little ribbon on here. We're going to go ahead and just get rid of that. And then we have some wrapping paper on here. We're going to try to get into that. <laughs> We're going to try to get into that. Y'all know it's a struggle getting into these packages. So let's see if we can just... Oh, I see an opening. I see an opening. It's like Christmas when you get one of these things. So we're going to just rip that paper off. Oh, I love that 550 wrapping paper or that tissue paper. All right. So now we're down to the cardboard. <laughs> so for those that are like, oh, she's going to get into it. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get through all this tape. We might get through all this tape. a workout y'all for real like that is a full work workout we're gonna go ahead and get this part off i think this part actually was supposed to just slide off but you know crafty savaging it over here oh i thought i cut the canvas there for a second all right now Now this actually will be my first entry into the POC along. So we're gonna get all her goodies out. Ooh. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. I hear more stuff in there. Oh, my toolkit came out. <laughs> all right. So we get a free gift, which it looks like it's some stickers.
So we get these three beautiful stickers as our free gift with this kit. Now all free gifts won't be the same, but the gifts that I got with mine are three stickers. So thank you for that. We also have, ooh, they went from cheap to, to the non-cheap tool kit. They changed it around a little bit. All right. So you get two white boats with a funnel, two good or three good pl um, plates of wax. These are the good things of wax because they're not opaque. And you get two white clear pens uh, with three placers on them. So that's awesome. They changed up the toolkit a little bit. You think they watched my last video? <laughs> There's no way because they had already sent this out. So it looks like they might be making some changes to that toolkit after all. But you get two of those really good... Uh, pairs of tweezers and these are the pointy ones so please be very careful when using these to she make sure you sheath them uh before you or when you are done with them so you don't stab yourself you can't have anybody get out here getting shanked in these crafty streets okay y'all don't care about that toolkit. Okay. so <laughs> i don't got time for that i want to see this picture so free ab beads this is a square what they sent out a square. Okay, DIY Moon Shop. Okay, before we get into the drills, y'all probably want to see what this image is, right? What image did they send me? Now, I'm going to need a paper for her name. It's called Sunflower Witch by Yokochi. Yokochi? I want to say it's Yokochi. If it's not, I do apologize. I probably butchered that. Rachel's probably laughing at me. Anyways, let's take a look. Ta-da! Look at that one artist signature i spotted it i spotted it look at that now i have never worked on a diy moon shop square um diy moon shop is one of the few places that still up charges for squares which is fine but i've never personally worked on one of their squares um this i believe is a 40 by it's a 40 by 44 again is sunflower witch by yokochi and uh yeah so let's take a look at this little paper that they send us and we're gonna zoom you back in it says how to enhance your project using both your free ab's given and corresponding regular b colors so the dark ab's 310 and 550 use sprinkle to application the dark ab's gives a very stark look so apply in only certain areas that would highlight your project by sprinkling when you get the scattered effect now these are square these are these are square what color is this background <laughs> okay i have so many questions I, i'm gonna tell you all why here in a few minutes but i have so many questions um light colors 552 810 819 etc use as much as you would like to light ab's have more sub subtle effect light ab's in as much of the charted areas this will give your those areas a shimmery pearl effect. Now, now, I kind of want to do something here, but I got to figure out what color this background. This background is letter A. One, the symbol clarity on this thing is impeccable. Do y'all see that? Good God. So the background is letter A, which is 3747, which doesn't look like it's the color I was hoping for because I was hoping it would be a... Uh, 5200 because I have a bunch of uh glow in the dark ones and I was going to make it glow in the dark but that's okay that's okay maybe I'll do it her signature or something I don't know we'll have to check and see but she is beautiful and we are going to take a look at her drills so let's go ahead and take a look at those drills shall we so they added in some free ABs with this kit oh there's a there's a six placer or no that's a nine placer looks like they had two nine placers that kind of flung out of the thing there y'all look listen that's the background color okay so it's not white it's like this blue color oh i can't wait to get started on this this will be my first diy moon shop square and this is my first entry into the poc along so yeah so if you didn't know what miss coffee was going to be working on it's this so here's our uh schematic here it has 33 co 33 colors where <laughs> where y'all i swear i actually might do something special with that that moon on her forehead but i love her look at that so there she is in all of her glory oh my gosh she's beautiful so it looks like i can get my hand in here for ab's they added in 
this color, which is 318. I don't see any more ABs in here. Let me check real quick before I tell y'all a lie. I think that's the only AB I see. Boop. And it's perfect because they're already in baggy. So all I'm going to do is write the symbol on these. And I'm going to get started on this. You will see me working on this probably. I was going to do a color and chat because I wasn't sure if this would get here in time. But uh, you will see me working on this in the whip and chat for this week. So, yeah. So, it looks like that's the only AB that is sent. I'm noticing... Oh, there's a 310. Look how cute that 310 bag is. <laughs> there's not a lot of that. So, the main color in her, like her outfit, is 413, which is a gray color. But, you guys already know how we do. I want to check out that skin tone because I'm seeing this and I'm getting frightened. Now, these two colors, hold on, I gotta get that glare off of it, are like a red color, like a dark burgundy. But I also see this color. So let's check out her skin tone, shall we? I'm seeing the letter D a lot and the letter I, which if we look at our schematic, the letter D as in dog is 3858. Ooh, it's gonna be this color here. So it's like a dark chocolate. I'm seeing a lot of this color. And then the letter I is 3857. So let's see here, 3857. I was getting a little worried with those reds in there. I'm sure the reds are gonna be like a highlighting color now that I, I uh, noticed that. So 30, okay. So here is your major skin tone for this kit. So she's going to be a darker brown color which I think that actually looks pretty good. And then like some of these highlighting colors like T and K. K is going to be 902, which I'm going to guess might be one of those reds. Yep, there's a highlighting color. And because with that color, that dark color of the skin, it will shine a bit red. So 814 is going to be letter T. So these are your accent colors, which are those red colors to the darker color, which I should have known. But that is going to be your skin tone, which I think that's going to actually look freaking fantabulous. Oh, my God. That is amazing. I love it. Okay. <laughs> that is a big bag, though. So for those folks that don't like a lot of the color blocking, uh, one, my tips and tricks for getting really straight squares Especially when you have a bunch of color blocking like this. Like you see I've, how all of that is one symbol. And this isn't one symbol with a couple of things sprinkled into it. It's literally all one symbol going around it. Um, for that, I would definitely say that you want to uh, use, if you're using a multi-placer, make sure you're multi-placing in the same direction th throughout the entire time. So if you're going vertical, no matter which way you're going, go the same direction. So go vertical, go vertical. Like up here, you would just go vertical. Uh, go vertical and make sure they're, they're sitting correctly on the symbols and your kit will look a hundred times better versus if you were to go back and forth between vertical and diagonal. Just for those folks that like to use multi-placers because uh, I'm not a single placing type person. Um, that's just not my job. If you are, you are a, D a DP gangster. But me personally, I like to multi-place and I've learned that if you multi-place in the same direction on a kit, no matter what shape it is actually, if you multi-place in the same direction on a kit, it makes your kit look that much better versus going back and forth. And then you start seeing those multi-placing lines of when you're, where you can, you could tell where you multi-place. If you do it all in the same direction, you can't tell. And then this is again, poor glue. So you will see a little bit of gap and then what happened is after a couple of days, you will start to see those gaps decrease because the glue will shrink around those drills. And the reason you're seeing that gapping is because it leaves it room for those drills to not pop. When you don't have enough space on your kit and you get those kits that have like the perfect lineup of drills, when that poor glue on that kit starts to shrink, you will notice that you start missing diamonds. This is one of the reasons why I also don't worry about sealing diamond paintings is because I know if I see the gapping in my drills, as long as it's not crazy gapping, as long as I don't see the gapping in my, or I see the gapping in my drills, 
I know that that drill, that canvas is not going to have popping drills. I'm not going to come back to it and find drills missing because it left enough space for that glue to shrink to bring those drills closer together to make it look like an image without gaps in it. So there is your tip on squares and diamond paintings all in general because that can also work for rounds. Uh, of course, with rounds, if you put two circles together, they're going to be a little bit of a space. But if you give it time to, to dry, uh, it should take care of about 95% of the, that gapping. So I'm very interested to see what DIY Moonshop drills are like in square because this bag here, as you can tell, has a little bit of static in it, right? I'm gonna show you a trick. Now, a lot of us know how to get rid of static in drills, but if you're new, which I have seen an, un an influx of new people coming onto the channel, so welcome to you. I am Miss Coffee, how you doing? Um, what you do, you get your dryer sheet, right? Right? Cut, cut a piece of it off, right? Just, you don't need a big piece, just a little piece. I mean, it's a big bag, but you don't need a big piece. We're gonna open that, we're gonna use the PIPA method. Now, if you don't know what the PIPA method is of opening bags, you take it and you go like this. So I'm taking it to the side of the bag here and you're just gonna do like this. And doing that, you see how it popped that little corner open? And then you just can stick your finger in, bloop, open your bag. Thank you, Pippa. We're gonna toss that in there. And then you're just gonna shake it around a bit. And from what I can tell so far, the drills actually look really good. Like I'm not seeing any knobbly bits, which I can get you up closer so you can see. I'm not seeing any knobbly bits or anything on those drills. I'm not seeing any trash or dirt or any concave drills. I'm not seeing any cavities or anything. So you guys, if you've ever wondered about DAC square or DAC, I'm sorry. If you ever were, if you've ever wondered about DIY Moonshop squares, I will be doing one. And there's a different color in there. <laughs> I will be doing this one uh, here. You will see this probably the next video you see on my channel will be me working on this kit. So, and look at that, look at, look at the static. See how it's keeping the static at bay? And now you can shake it. Look how quickly that, that worked. So if you ever have a problem with static in your drills, just throw a little piece of uh, dryer sheet in there, shake it around a bit and that should take care of it. Um, so yeah, but Again, huge thank you to DIY Moonshop for sending this out for me. So let's take a look at it. Um, let's, let's do a once over because again, um, I will be working on this kit, so I'm not putting it away. We got our schematic. Uh, we have our legend. Now, one of the reasons why, because I said, in, I think I said in my last DIY Moonshop unboxing that I would cut this part off. No, the reason why uh, you see the, this tannish border on it is so that when you go to frame it, it already looks like it has a mat on it. So if you put it in a traditional frame, it already looks like it has a mat on it. But you can and you can also cut this off if you want to have a walking legend, which is what they used to do. Uh, the back of it is that that velvety type velour material um, that's really soft. Uh, again, it's a forty by forty four, which I it does look true to size. And just to measure one side of it for you, for those folks who don't believe me, let me get my tape measure that's not broken. Thank you, Jenny, the uncrafty crafter, for that tape measure. It comes in super handy. So we're gonna put it on this side. 40 right on the dot, right on the money for that side. And we're going to go up here, right on the money for 44 on this side. So it does measure true to size. Remember, these are measured in centimeters, not, or, uh, yeah, it's measured, <laughs> sorry. It's me measured in centimeters, not like uh, inches or anything like that. Uh, for inches, I think they might have it up on the website i'm not 100 percent sure but finding a frame you would just I, me personally when i go to find if i actually want to find a frame for it i just take it with me to whatever store i'm going to to find the frame for it and i just ask them if they have a frame for this and they let me like use the frame and the diamond painting to whatever anyways so the drills do look really good we did get a free bag of 318 which is this gray color um, okay so i'm gonna add this little edit in i didn't for some reason see i i didn't have my glasses on i do now apparently and I didn't see that there actually is a 318 on the kit. So I will be replacing those 318s on the kit with the ABs. So I wanted to add that little edit in. Now go back, go, go, go back to the original video. And on their legend, I noticed their, their AB goes in order. So you see how it says 317, 318. So probably in the lighter areas of that 317, which 317 would be L. And Elle looks like it's up here on her hat a little bit. And again, they give you this handy little card 
for how to place your AB drills. So if you would like to pause and read that, you can go ahead and do that. But oh my gosh, this is almost 20 minutes long. So we get the gist of it. It's a really good kit. The skin tone looks like it's gonna be really good. Um, the background is a lot, of, a lot of color blocking, but that's okay. Again, DIY Moonshop is running a sale up until February 3rd. I believe I misspoke in my live and said it was up until the end of the month. Nay, nay, that's something else coming up next. But DIY Moonshop has a sale that is currently running until the 3rd of February where you can get any of their POC kits for 15% off. So if you have never purchased a DIY Moonshop kit and you are interested in getting one, now would be the time to do so. Now, those are select kits and um, I will have a picture of them flashed up on the screen for you. Um, so if you're interested in that, please go check that out. Again, huge thank you to DIY Moonshot for sending this out to me. I'm about to get started on this immediately, but since tomorrow is the POC along start, I will start on it then. But for right now, I'm just going to get it set up and ready to get work ready to be worked on because I'm so excited to work on a DIY Moonshot square. So that is it for me. That's enough jibba jabba. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Huge thank you to you for watching. If you have any other questions about this kit, any comments, any concerns, you know how we do. Put those down in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get back to you whenever I possibly can. But with that said folks please stay caffeinated stay crafty wear your mask wash your hands don't touch your face in public keep your six feet and always trot be kind be courteous be cool bye guys <laughs>